Hello everyone, I hope you're well. I'm Mrs. Cooling and today I'm going to be reading part two of Stanley and Rhoda by Rosemary Wells. It's called Don't Touch It, Don't Look at It. Watch that bee, Stanley advised. Mm. What bee? asked Rhoda. Near your left foot, said mm. Stanley. Mm. Which is my left? asked Rhoda. The one with the freckle on it, <laughs> said Stanley. <laughs> he got me! <laughs> Rhoda screamed. Wait a minute, said Stanley. <laughs> it hurts! Rhoda screamed. It's just a bee sting, said Stanley. <laughs> it hurts! Rhoda cried. Let me see it, asked Stanley. No! Nope said Rhoda. I just want to look at it, said Stanley. Don't touch it, don't look at it, said Rhoda. Let's go home then, Stanley suggested. I can't walk, said Rhoda. Stanley took the rest of the rocks out of the wagon and put Rhoda in. It hurts, it hurts. Rhoda yelled. I know what, said Stanley. I'll put some nice cool mud on it. Stanley fetched some mud. <laughs> Dirty, said Rhoda. Just try it, said Stanley. Don't touch it, don't look at it, said Rhoda. When we get home, said Stanley, Daddy will fix it. Uh, what will Daddy do? asked Rhoda. Take the bee sting out of your foot, Stanley answered. How? asked Rhoda. Probably he'll use a needle, said Stanley. Or maybe tweezers, Stanley went on. Then again, he might soak your foot in boiling butter. On the other hand, he may just decide to take you up to Dr. Zuckerman and let him work on it with his new splinter drill. Um, uh, it's better now, Stanley, said Rhoda. I am glad, said Stanley. It would be perfect if he kissed it, said Rhoda. Nothing easier, said Stanley. Mm -hmm. <laughs>